The Apothecary Network is a prototype app which will allow people to establish their own decolonial community apothecary. We're creating an app which centers black and brown diasporic ancestral knowledge. The knowledge is there for everyone, but we would like people to engage with it on a specific set of terms, and that is honoring the lived experience of black and brown people and honoring their ancestral knowledge and intuitive practices that we're sharing that belong to them and that were pioneered by them. So I've been working with the team to think about the plant allies that we're going to encourage people to start to develop relationships with. I've been doing that by growing the herbs myself and experimenting with them, creating recipes and remedies and just drawing together historical information and doing research that we can put together on the app for people to access. The user experience for the app is one where they essentially will be asked a series of questions about their relationship with nature, their relationship to their community, the amount of green space they have available to them, and then also how the climate crisis impacted their community. They'll be presented with a number of plant allies which address and suit their circumstances. So for example, if someone says they don't have a garden, they only have like a window ledge, and them and their community are feeling anxious, they'll be presented with herbs which they can grow in this incredibly small space. And these plants are all selected for their ease of growth, how accessible they are, and their psycho-emotional impacts. So it's really about saying to people, beginning on an individual level, then rippling out to their communities, you can, regardless of how little or how much space you have to grow, you can dig where you stand, begin where you are, at home, indoors, but my dream would be that it would inspire people to start to just begin a relationship with nature and for them to feel like, even if they don't own land, they still have the right to do that and permission to do that. And so we wanted to centre something that offered an alternative to existing climate action movements, something that centred joy and community and happiness and beauty and connecting with nature and being at one because that feels like an infinite resource and an infinite way that people can come together to address the injustices that have been felt by black and brown communities, both historically and ongoing. It's really important that all people from all walks of life have access to restful states in which they can create visions for their own lives. And I think one of the products of capitalism, extractive capitalism, is that it's taken people away from a sense of spaciousness in their own lives and has meant that people have felt less and less agency over how they can imagine themselves in the world. And I think the herbs can allow us to take space and time, space and time that historically has been stolen from us. And then from there, we can come more into connection, not only with ourselves, but also with the world around us.